Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. We are on day four of my 10 day adventure in the mountains. And uh, today, um, what's on the agenda? I'm gonna finish painting this. I think this looks really cool. This is a, a hummingbird. And the reason why I did a hummingbird is that there's a ton of hummingbirds here. So um, I kind of like, I, I kind of like, uh, I don't know, I just kind of <laughs> like it, so I was going to paint that. Um, and uh, I want to make a little table, because I want to practice making a table. So I'm going to make a little bushcraft type table, um, where I'm only using um, twine and and uh, some of the wood that's around here. One of my biggest challenges is really I only have aspen. I have a little bit of fir, but it has a lot of sap in it. Um, and the aspen here is twisted, so all the wood just kind of does this. Um, so we'll see. I mean, it's a, it's a challenge, but we're going to see what I can do. And um, then I might clean up the camp a little bit, because the camp, um, you know, as you build a deck, you have a lot of debris and stuff, and so I kind of want to clean it up a little bit more. Um, and then if I have time, I'm going to kayak, but the weather... Um, I had a friend text me this morning saying that it's probably going to be thunderstorms this afternoon. So unless I kayak right now, which honestly I'm just tired and don't feel like going on the lake right now. I know I could change my mind. Um, you know, I probably won't kayak today. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to be going into um, a little town and stuff, so I won't be kayaking tomorrow. But I, I definitely will be kayaking on Wednesday. Um, and maybe today we'll see we'll see how it goes so um that's kind of my agenda is i want to i want to oh yeah check this out when you're out here you could wear your pjs these are my pjs you could wear whatever you want and it's one of the things that i really like about being here is that i could just wear whatever <laughs> whatever i want to wear and i'm so just wearing my pjs right now so it's the morning and i'm still trying to wake up but I'm going to put some more of these flowers. It's kind of a Scandinavian type. I am Scandinavian, so, you know, it has kind of that kind of look to it. And I'm going to do the same thing over here um, and uh, just kind of have it blend in. And, uh, you know, I got enough paint that if I feel like painting something else on the other side, I, I might. Um, I like to paint. It's very calming for me, and that's one of the reasons why I'm here is so that I could um, I could just hang out. Um, and that's really, uh, really what I want to do. Uh, here's Rocky's coming back. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Come here. Come here. You say hi. Say good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Oh, and then the signs. I didn't get the chance to fix those signs that were all crooked. So, um, I might fix those signs. I still have some little arrows that I might just put some directional arrows around. So like if you're on a trail and you don't know it turns and you're kind of a little lost, I have some areas that you're not really sure where to go. Um, I might put some of those directional arrows on there. Might as well use them up. Um, I made them, so might as well use them. But uh, that's on the agenda today. So we'll, we'll see how the day goes.
painting of the deck. All my little designs are finally done. Let me show you what I what I did. So over here I just used this one to kind of balance out the deck. Um, actually I was going to stop at the, the stairs over here but then it just looked um, too heavy on one side so I added that in the middle and then added this other one to the side. I didn't want too much over by the stairs. Um, added our our logo and it says Spirit Forest and there's my signature and then I'm hoping that the the kids will also be able to sign over here. Rocky, are you signing or something? He's like, what? What's there? Maybe put a paw print for Rocky there, huh? You want a paw print there? I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, and I, I do see myself restaining this part, so it would probably be something that we'll probably do every year. I don't think it's... It's going to have to be restained a lot, so... Um, However, for um, these boards, probably don't have to be restained a lot. I might, it might be able to last a couple years before I have to stain over it. Um, but, uh, okay, so uh, again, it's kind of a Scandinavian type design. Um, and uh, I added a cute little uh, personal items in here. Um, if you look closely here, I'll tilt it. There's an R for Rocky and an M for Madison and the T for Todd and then I added this um, beautiful um, uh, hummingbird in here because I thought that that would be a nice addition uh, I think I mentioned earlier there's tons of hummingbirds around here so I just decided to incorporate um, some of the stuff that I see here um, and then over here is my initial and here's a K for Kyla and I think I don't have any other initials um, in here at all but uh, I thought it was kind of fun you know I kind of went through it and it was like you know I can make these flowers um, character or, or letters that is so I think that that would be kind of fun and then I added um, our logo here I think it's a nice touch I had, it was really hard to kind of stay in the stay in lines I got out of the line a little bit but for the most part it's it's good and that will probably have to be restained um, maybe once a year so I'll have to make a, a stencil or something like that so I can restain that but overall I'm pretty happy with this project and um, I don't know how much time it took me total I'm gonna guess about four hours or so to, to do the whole project and uh, yeah this logo I on purpose did it kinda light I didn't want it really showing because I really wanted the flowers to show more. You like it, Rox? Yeah? Okay, off to my next project. Oh, and it was a good thing I didn't go kayaking because it's been raining on and off. Um, and, you know, if you're out there in the lake and it's raining, it's really a good idea to stay back in. So um, it's a pretty good that I stayed. I don't know if you can see, but that's a pretty good rain cloud up there. Um, so it's it's definitely we're definitely gonna get some rain which will be really cool because I'd love to see it in action on the on my gutter my rain collector there so um, I'm looking forward to, to having it rain So the weather's kind of odd. It doesn't it's not surprising here in Colorado, but I'm happy I'm not in the lake right now because it is raining. It's sunny. It's hot. It's cold. It's windy. So it's like everything, everything you wouldn't want on a lake. <laughs> so I'm actually having a really good time with this project. Um, I'm working on that that table, and it's pretty relaxing just sitting here, and and uh, I can. Kind of, if you see, I can look and see my my little new paintings that I did, and Rocky's hanging out on the porch. My only issue that I have is, you see that porta potty over there? First of all, it's a big eyesore, so that's um, that bugs me. But I might, I'm gonna figure out something for that. But when it's windy, and the wind is coming right off that, comes right over here, and yeah, it doesn't smell like sewer, but I get this 
this whiff of that blue porta potty smell. That blue water porta potty. Ugh. And I'm like, man, I gotta think of something. If you guys got an idea for that, let me know. I'm, maybe I'll put up a tarp and maybe the wind will go up and over. <laughs> I don't know. I had to put it there because, again, it was. Um, it had to be 25 feet from the um, uh, from the uh, driveway, and, and my other video, if you saw, they kind of ruined the driveway coming up, but you kind of see my car in there, and there's the porta potty again, and it just, you know, if it's not windy, I don't smell anything, you know, um, it's just, it's just not pretty, it's, it's not, um, it's not a pretty smell, <laughs> so... <laughs> So other than that, this is this is fun. Um, let me show you, let me show you my project here and kind of what my challenges are. So this is the wood. This is an aspen. It's all I have really here to work with. But you see how twisted it is? I don't know if it shows it on the video, but this stuff is really twisted. And so my challenge is to try to make that straight. So I'm kind of making these. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. What, I'm trying to. Well, I'm trying to make them straight. Is what I'm trying to do. So here's one of them, and you'll see. I'm not very good at the the hatchet. I mean, it's just it's heavy. It hurts my wrist. Um, so I use a lot of the knife, but my knife's gonna go dull here soon. I'm sure. But I think this table is gonna be. What do we call it? It's level enough. You can see there's still kind of a twist on it. I'm still, I guess, I'm still working on this one. This is the one I'm currently working on. Um, I did do this one. I'm not quite done with it yet, but that's, that's, that's not too bad. But I don't know. I mean, as long as we can put a cup on it, and, the, and it's level where the cup is at, and then maybe a plate or something. It's just going to go on, um, it's just going to go next to my chair, and so when I'm eating or whatever, drinking a beer or tea or whatever, it will go right there. Um, let me show you the legs. I actually worked on the legs yesterday and I didn't take any video. Um, but I want to show you kind of what I was doing. This was, um, you know, what, let me get the tripod out so I can actually show you better. Okay, so this, again, I, I worked on this last night. <clears throat> um, I didn't take any video because I took a ton of video yesterday already, so um, I have a lot of projects that I'm always keeping busy. I'm never really sitting. Um, however, I did read that some of that book that, um, about the history of the area, and I thought it was really cool. Did you know there were cheetahs that used to live here? Um, back in the Ice Age or area time, or I don't know if it's Ice Age or not, but, um, but anyways, I did read that book, and, uh, or most of it, and uh, that, was, that was a really good read. So, um, the table parts. So this is the first one I did. Um, I have this level, or this middle part, and then the theory is that it just weighs on this. Um, so it doesn't really fall and so all I gotta do is just tie it on um, and then I have this like tooth thing and then they they stick together like this or maybe we go the other way depending on whatever the knot is um, and then it sticks together like that this took me forever to do and then I had it so I would have to wedge it in almost hammer it in which I think is a good way to do it because it makes it really sturdy um, but then I got nervous that I would spend all that time working on this and then this um, this would split. So then I made this too small and so now there's too much wiggle room and it just, you know. So I was like, oh, that's not going to work and it would take forever to do. So currently right, what I have for that side is this and the other side. I created something like, like that. So I don't know if you can see but it's just kind of like a puzzle piece. So everything just kind of comes in together. And this is my, this is my theory. This one's a lot faster for me. Again, if you can see the angle of that, 
And that's and honestly, I came up with this. I didn't even look at. I, I don't have online here to try to figure out what to do. I just kind of came up with something that was fast to do. Um, I'm gonna bind this with some um, some twine that I have, um, and then what the theory would be is that this would lay on top in some way or another. I, don't, I haven't quite figured that out yet. And then I would have a bunch of them like this. Um, and then I made these really long, but I plan on cutting them a little bit shorter. Um, I just wanted to, you know, you can cut things shorter, but you can't make anything longer. So I made them really long for right now. Um, and I might end up cutting it pretty short. And then for the other side, again, since this was a really tough to do, uh, or just took a long time to do it, the other side I have, I don't know, call it a spirit forced notch. I don't, I don't know. Maybe people actually do this. or I, I don't know. Um, it might be kind of hard to, to show you this. But these slide in. slides in and there you go there's the other side so I mean it's it works it's kind of like a little puzzle piece and again the board well picture that on the board will go on top here my toughest part really is making these these straight um, and I don't know I'm gonna need like five of them or so so we'll we'll see again it's a work in progress and I'm, and I'm learning because I would like to do my own dining room table, which would seat four people. And I want to see how much work it is to make these this top part level. I might end up cheating because I just don't have the wood that's, or even the materials um, or the tools enough to, to make that flat. And I don't feel like buying any more tools. The only tools that I'm using is a saw, a knife, and a hatchet. And like I said before, I'm not very good at the hatchet. Um, it's pretty heavy and it hurts my wrist. Um, maybe I'm swinging it wrong, but I keep trying different ways. Um, so that's where I'm at with the table. So I'm going to keep working on these these flat parts, and um, I'll show you guys. It's it's not really a how-to video because I'm learning how to do this um, as I'm doing it. But uh, I'm going to give you an idea what project I'm working on. And, uh, I'm never bored. You know, that's one thing about me is I always come up with something to do. Um, some sort of challenge. So um, I'm going to go back to my chair and, and work on uh, leveling these off a bit and kind of thinking how I'm going to lay them on top. And again, I think I need about five of these. So it's, this is a lot of work too. Uh, my wrist, or I already feel it in my wrist. So um, maybe I can get it done today. You know, that would be great. Um, but if not, I will. Um, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to work on it tomorrow. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It, I still, I'm, it's only day four now, and I got ten days out here, so hopefully I can get done by the time I leave, uh, or and actually be able to use it. That would be nice. Okay, it's bugging me. I can't do it anymore. I am uh, sitting working on my table and I keep looking up and that is what I see and what I smell. It, it literally, and the wind's just coming perfectly and it is, um, it smells like toilet cleaner. So, I'm going to try to fix this. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is maybe if I put up a little barrier, maybe from here to here and, and stack a bunch of sticks, nothing fancy, but at least it hides. I mean, right now it's just, it really smells like toilet cleaner. Whew. I mean, it's, it's better than everything smelling like um, sewer. I get that, you know, and I signed up for this. I'm aware of that, but man. So I'm hoping that I can build this this wall here or something, and maybe maybe that would help. At least will help that I'm not constantly looking at this sign here. <laughs> and uh, 
I don't know, maybe I can do something around the other side, but for right now, I'm just going to work on this side. Maybe it will block some of the wind, because if you see, there that is, and that's the tent, and the wind is blowing that way. Now, maybe next year, maybe I find a different spot, but it's got to be on my within 25 feet of my driveway. Um, if I put it over there, uh, I think I'll run into the same problem. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but but for right now, I'm going to see if this works. It wasn't part of my plan today, but it is now. And the thing is, is that once I built all of this stuff, next year and even later this summer, I'm just going to be able to come here hang out. Well, I know I always have projects, but I'll be able to come here and hang out and uh, enjoy just being in the mountains. But for now, I'm going to fix this and I'm going to put a wall up. I'll show you guys when I'm done. You, know what? you never know when those bushcraft skills come in handy. <laughs> there you go. There's my wall covering the porta potty. Check that out. I could do a little bit more branches, but I didn't have anything to cut a branch with me, so I just chose the branches that were on the floor. And see, that's where it vents out. So I try to get it pretty tall up there. So I need to add a little bit more branches at the top. Um, now I've been around it for a while. So I can't tell if it's filtering out the smell or not because I don't smell anything right now. But we'll see. It's getting kind of windy. So 